Welcome to... Welcome to Undertale, a musical let's play episode 10. Really excited to see where this goes. I'm finishing up this pacifist playthrough. I have no idea where I am in that journey, but yeah, here we go. Oh, uh, look at that. Undyne is standing on Papyrus's head. Bum, bum, badum, badum, boom. Yeah, so I'm going to talk to Alphys. I also have to clean my glasses. Uh, slide. Oh, oh no. Excuse me? What? Ooh, what's the music gonna be? I'm cleaning my glasses still. I no can see, I'm a blind. Oh. That's her music, but you hear how it's like like bouncy, playful, sort of like he he he. I'm awkward. Ha ha ha. That bouncing quality makes it very like sort of like. <laughs> Stockpiling gifts. I think it speaks to her gentle nature. It's a good idea. All right, I'm so excited. Where's the music? Hello? She's- she's verklempt. No, I do not. Yes. Great. Okay, let's go! Funny that there's no music. This is like... Oh god, I feel some sort of way. I have to... I... I have to... I'm nervous. Oh no. Are they dating? She's looking pretty chill. What 
What is this drama? It changed. It's a lower version of it. Of the music. happened before. She just wants to be understood. Listen to the music there. Da, 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 da. That's inter interestingly timed. Speeds up because she's freaking out. She's freaking out so bad. Oh my god, I'm freaking out too. Oh my god, I'm oh oh. No, you. Tell her the truth. I'm way too invested in this. The music. Aww. Okay, chill out. I'm not pushing anything. Alphas is talking quickly. Good for her.
It's just such a weird... What has this game become? Oh, sh... Undyne is an Ares. So it's interesting because now we've got Undyne's music that we, you know, Spear of Justice, but it's it's like her life motto, you know? She's very, like, straight to the facts, and it's funny how the music is like, Come on, baby! You can do it! Come on! I love you the way you are! She's just a determined, a determined... in the hell is Papyrus doing here? Papyrus, the ultimate quack block. Wait. What in God's name is happening here? <laughs> it's... It's sped up because her brain's going a mile a minute, obviously. Oh. Did I succeed? All right, hold up. So... Oh, boy. Okay, Papyrus told me what to do. This is great. Because I didn't know what I was gonna do. You know, this uh, this song takes such a different context now that, like, so much is going- Everything's shift- Wait, am I going the right way? Yeah, everything's shifted. And so, Waterfall has, like, a different sensation to me now that I've, like, you know, gone through, talked to Asgore, fought Asgore, fought, uh, Flowey. Flowey? I wish Waterfall would change. Because, like, why is it- It has no reason to be that way anymore. Which is not necessarily true, but you know what I mean? Like, the context has shifted because so many things have happened, so it means something different now. It's less poignant for me in this current moment. Same with Hotland. Like, I wish everything kind of- I wish that all the music changed. But, like, Hotland makes sense because, like, that really is mostly the sound of lava now. Alright, let's go- what the hell's going on here that I need to go there immediately? No music. Uh, what's this? Oh yeah, she eats dog food. A note. Hey, thanks for your help back there. You guys, your support really means a lot to me. But, as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make me make my own problems go away. I want to be a better person. I, I don't want to be afraid anymore, and, and for that to happen, I have to be able to face my own mistakes. I'm going to start doing that now. I want to be clear, uh, this isn't anyone else's problem but mine. But if you don't ever hear from me again... Oh, uh, what? If you want to know the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. The bathroom? You all at least deserve to know what I did. That's all she wrote. Uh-oh. Wait, it's not a bathroom, it's an elevator. Best music in the game. Oh my god, this is my worst nightmare. Oh my god, oh my god, that's literally the biggest fear I've ever had. Trigger warning. One time I got stuck in an elevator in Italy, my dad had to like pry open the doors and traumas. We're in, we're in a basement, okay. What does that say? This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So, to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of Ma- Oh, that's not good. 
But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives their souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living, the resolve to change fate. Let's call this power determination. That's... We're in a science lab that is bad. It's not good, it's a bad thing. Enter the center door, that's all you could read. Whoa, this is a bad place. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. They're still comatose and soon they'll be all turned to dust. But what happens if I inject determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we thought. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families. What do I do? Oh man. Yeah, this is like where things got really bad in this place. But the elevator's down, so it's not like I can backtrack. So like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Uh-oh. Did I screw myself over down here? Oh, sh I'm nervous. I think I might have- What did I do? Oh. Okay, wait. What the hell is that? What the hell's- What the f- This is it. Oh my god. Uh, oh, this looks, this is hard. Spooky music. Cell? Take out your cell phone, but you can't hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. Shrimp. Oh my god. No. Laura, Laura Nibsom. It's like zombies. All right. Refuse, right? Music is. Oh. All right. Okay. Okay. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Oh, uh, what the fuck? It's probably a terrible idea. What's happening? Uh, the music stopped because I took a nap. It's a bed. Oh, shoot. Alright, hang on.
Well, this is a maze. What am I supposed to do? Oh. That rhythm in there is pretty amazing. It's probably gonna be nothing. Okay, it's nothing. <laughs> wow, that was cool how he used music to build tension. What the hell is that? Oh! You bitch! Ew. That looks like a, an amalgamation of lemon bread. Oh my god. Oh, actually, this is not too bad. Oh yeah, it's terrible, actually. I actually think I'm gonna go here. Oh, it's a mirror, okay. Uh, those are the flowers in Asgore's garden. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? What? Experiments on the vessel are a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever. Never has to work with anyway. The seeds just stick to you and will let you go. Golden flowers. So maybe Asgore is also not as good as- Oh! Oh my god. Ugh! Ew! Oh my god, I do not like this. At all. What in the hell? Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so freaky. This game has really shifted. Oh god. It's also kind of gotten a little harder. Right? Oh, okay. Oh, God. Uh. Damn it. Yo, this is hard! I'm scared! Oh god, I don't have enough healing items here. I'm gonna die. What are you so afraid of? Ugh. Oh, oh my god, it's... It's an amalgamation of, like, multiple different monsters. Shit. Let me backtrack and heal really fast. Man, this is jacked up. And you hear that in the music, actually. You hear the sort of like, bubby, 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 bub. It's sort of like decrepit. Where do I get the blue switch then? Maybe here, maybe to the right. Oh, God. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I get really sweaty. I'm scared. Okay. 
Oh god, uh... Oh, I hate this room. I hate- I hate this. I hate this. It's the dog, um... It's- it... Oh my god. Bruh. It's the- it's a slow- it's a def dilapidated version. Oh my god, of the dog, uh, music. I don't like scary stuff, even this. Getting faster. Oh my god. Okay, hold on. Uh, Starfay. Alright, this I can manage. There it is. Jesus. Where's the blue key? That made me viscerally uncomfortable. It's interesting how he's using- how we're using music, though, to really heighten the tension with music that we've already heard. Wait, I didn't go down here. Oh yeah, I did. So I have the green switch, which maybe... That's yellow, okay. Under sheets. Oh, under sheets. Oh my god, it's... It's home. At a mom e cringe. <laughs> a momeranian. This is so sad, the way that the music is playing here. Because you know in this lab, stuff went bad. I'm scared to watch these. Okay, the music's different. What? What? Was Marco a different anim- No, I'm Marco. I'm Marco. Well, I, I mean, I am Marco. What? Who is- Butterscotch pie for two. Asgore.
Wait. Hold on. Is this Azrael? No. Wait. Why are they saying- who's- who's Marco? Maybe it's just a random- My character's name is- I'm Marco! It must just be like a, a monster. Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe it's just a Something about sheets. Under sheets. Oh, here we go. Alright. Look at that big brain move. So where's the blue... Alright, so now I gotta fight this creepy ass thing. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Smells like sweet lemons. God, I hate this one. Oh my god, how in the Oh no. Come on. Oh my god, this little uh, Oh my god, I hate this. Oh my god, I hate that so much. That's not fun at all. Oh my god, why is this so awful? I would prefer fighting Papa Rius again. Oh man, I can see this is gonna go badly. I get very agitated, in fact, when like my progress gets halted and I'm like trying to progress a story because I'm excited to see where things go. Like, I'm not fast enough for that. Oh! Okay. The drumming too has a very like mechanical like it, it just is so appropriate for a lab setting. Curtain. 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 Oh, oh God. Oh my God. This is that, uh... Wow. 
Because it's cold, therefore slowed down. Snowden. Wow. Oops, no, I'll do that. I feel really terrible about this. Avoid the one that's moving. I gotta say, this section, not particularly fun. I haven't turned on the green one yet. One hour later. Oh, yeah, wow, okay, excuse me. It's right here that whole time. All right, let's go into the main room and hopefully I don't have to fight anything because I have no health items. Hee hee hee. Well, I think that's as good a place as any to stop this playthrough of Undertale episode 10. Obviously, that was pretty intense and kind of freaky to be honest with you. So I'm really curious to see what the hell happens next and how far we have to go. Talk to you later.